Now, experts at the Kent Wildlife Park are celebrating the arrival of three baby beavers. They were born at Wildwood near Canterbury a month ago and we've had exclusive access to film them. When the babies are grown up, conservationists hope that they could be released into the wild in Scotland. But it is a controversial plan, as our environment correspondent Yvette Austin reports. The latest additions to the man-made beaver lodge at the Wildwood Park in Kent. Three baby beavers, called kits, and at just three weeks old, already learning vital beaver skills. As the animals grow up, they can transform the countryside. They're keystone species, living in riverbanks, creating pools and reed beds and wetlands. They create a home for thousands of other creatures, rare butterflies, rare dragonflies, kingfishers, otters, all need beaver to have a healthy riverbank. And that's exactly what they've done at Ham Fen Nature Reserve, the last remaining area of Fenland in Kent. In 10 years, they've brought a neglected wetland back to life. They've coppiced these willows, and the willows have regenerated. There's all this fresh growth here. Um, in addition to that, they've created uh, channels through the Fenland. They've raised the water levels uh, generally and made the habitat wetter. And in short, what they've done is they've, uh, they've done all the work that we would normally do with, with teams of volunteers, but they've done it naturally. But beavers are controversial. They fell trees and build dams, and there are now some hundred animals living wild on the River Tay in Scotland. Politicians, landowners and conservationists have been arguing over what to do with them, as they weren't legally released. There's even been talk of a cull. They take land. Just along riverbanks, they create lovely little wetlands. And of course, a lot of people want to factory farm. They want to own and control those riverbanks. And they are legally protected by Europe. So therefore, that's probably why people don't want to see them back. Because once they occupy a space, it becomes a nature reserve forever. At Napdale Forest in Western Scotland, there's also an official trial project with beavers living on a reserve, much as they do in Kent. The fate of those on the loose on the Tay will be decided once the trial project is over in three years' time. Conservationists at Wildwood hope their three kits will eventually join their cousins in Scotland. Yvette Austin, BBC South East Today, near Canterbury. Oh, well, they're very cute, yes. We'll have them if Scotland doesn't want them. Keep them in the bath. <laughs> That's a joke. That's a joke.